Hey Epsterians, it is me, Abel, and welcome to my very first how-to video of Epsteria. Um, I've got friends on Facebook, Twitter, and all that, who've asked me, like, you know, how does one start doing vlogs, and what's involved, and um, what are the programs? How difficult is it to vlog or to make videos and do you need to have prior knowledge? Let me stop you right there. No. When it comes to vlogging, everything I've learned about YouTube, about my videos, editing and all that, they're all self-taught. A lot of us just learn by doing. So I started off knowing absolutely so don't worry. Let's start with uh, the very, very basics of vlogging. Now, a lot of you know that I do daily videos and they are basically daily vlogs of my life and what I do from the day I wake up, go to work and all that jazz. So that's daily vlogging. What I'm doing right now is a topical vlog, which is a topical video that I'm just shooting in one location and telling you stuff, talking to you and all that stuff. You can do it any other way. It's up to you. It's all about you being creative. There's no hard and fast rule to vlogging. Anyone can do it. Let's just get to the very basics. So first off, you definitely will need a camera. For my daily vlogs, I use the Canon XS135, which is uh, the little blue one. I think it comes in red and black. I'm not sure, but I chose... No, it doesn't come in red. Does it come in red? No, I don't know. But yeah, but that's the blue and the black. I think we've got the black one as well. But I think a lot of vloggers use this one because it's small, it's compact, it's not expensive. I think this was like less than $200. Um, and uh, yeah, and it's pretty cool. It's got an auto, auto, um, can you see that? It's got an auto feature, which is basically autofocus. Um, so sometimes if you put a camera too close to something, it'll just start to go into macro mode. Now just be warned that daily vlogging can take an amount of time. If you've been watching YouTube and keeping up with other YouTubers, they've done daily Decembers where you know they vlog for an entire month of December up leading up to the new year and then they stop. I've been doing daily vlogs since the end of October, so beginning November, like we'll just say first of November. So I've daily vlogged since November till now. And um, it really is about diligence if you really want to do this. It's nothing wrong with doing it, you can do it, or you don't really is up to you. Daily vlogging is not that difficult once you get the hang of it and uh, it really trains you to make your life interesting or or it basically challenges you, it pushes you to want to make your life interesting, right? Um, it makes you want to explore more things and, and get more content for your video which is something that you either want to do or you may not want to do so it's really up to you. Like isn't it a little bit weird? that people see you carrying a camera? Yes! It is weird that people um, look at this person taking a rather long selfie. Yeah, they, they, what they think is that um, I'm taking a really, really long selfie, which actually I'm actually thinking, but I'm vlogging about something. And that's the beauty about vlogging, uh, daily vlogging, is that you don't know what kind of content you're gonna capture for the day, and um, it may surprise you. So I've had one of those, you know, uh, incidents where I'm just like, oh, okay. So I thought it was going to be a boring day, but then it turned out to be a really good day, and I'm glad I had my camera to vlog the day. Um, yeah, I've had people walk in the background and making faces and all that shit. And you, sometimes it works out. You want to leave that in. That's fine. Otherwise, you can just always go to post production and edit them out. For example, this video has is probably by far right now been heavily edited because I didn't write a script. I don't do scripts because I can't follow them. I like to talk on the fly and just make shit happen. It's up to you. You can do a script or not a script. I know some people who do scripts and good for them because I can't follow a script. Maybe that's why I'm not an actor. There's so much more to, to what, what vloggers do, so feel free to always comment below, ask me questions, I'm more than happy to um, address them. Let me move on to topical vlogs. Topical vlogs are like this, uh, how-to videos or a review. Uh, basically a video where you're not moving around, you're in a stationary position in one location, um, talking about stuff, reviewing about stuff, or just talking about your day. It really doesn't, matter. It doesn't really matter. The only difference is you're not walking around and that the camera shoots whatever's in that room. Same deal. 
Um, what sort of programs do I use to edit my videos? Well, um, I use a Mac, so I, I use iMovie, which is fantastic. It's free, it comes with Mac, uh, with any Mac product, um, uh, either an iMac or a MacBook. It comes free with it, so you just have to update it and you get the latest version, which is really awesome. It is very easy to use. Let me rephrase that. It is easy to use once you get the hang of it. The first time I started, I was like, what the holy fuck is this? What am I doing wrong? What's going on? I was about to throw my laptop. But once you get used to it, once you've actually figured it out, it's very easy. If you're a Windows user, I think you can get um, Windows Movie Maker? Yeah, I think they have the win Windows equivalent. That's like the, ba the very, very basic. So if you really want to go beyond that, it would be like Final Cut Pro, which a lot of successful YouTubers are using because it is very advanced. So yeah, the type of camera that you want to get for any of your vlogs, any of your videos, just make sure that they have HD capability, simply because HD allows the capture of more light into your capture more light into your videos so it's not dark and you know sort of thing. Yeah so these are all the very very basics of uh, starting a YouTube channel, of vlogging if you if you if you like. Um, they're all very very basic stuff. They're not you know they're, they're, I'm not pro, I'm not but just remember that all of this takes time and it takes um, learning. So you have to teach yourself, be patient with yourself as I did um, to learn the ropes. Um, Talk to other YouTubers, they are more than happy to answer your questions. So if you've got Twitter, get on Twitter, ask them questions. Um, and if they have the time, they will reply you. Just remember, the YouTube community is a rather large community, so we're trying to help each other out as well. We're trying to spread the love, so it's, um, it's a very cool online community, and I'm so glad to be part of it. Um, I'm not a big YouTuber at all, I'm just a very small... I have a big sea of, of YouTube, and uh, but I do hope to make it big one day. I mean, because I really want to see how far I can take this. And I hope that this video has answered a lot of your questions out there. And if it hasn't, don't be afraid to send me an email, tweet me, or go check out my Facebook page. Um, deeds are in the description below. Just go and ask me stuff, and I'll be more than happy to um, answer your questions. And if need be, I'll make another video. So easy. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and share this with other people because I'm sure other people would have the same or similar questions as you did. And um, yeah, so don't forget to spread some love and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya! Bye!